What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add text behind objects in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, I have Sony Vegas open up right now and we're going to be using a picture of the Eiffel Tower. So I'm just going to extend it. And now what you want to do is right click here and duplicate the track. This means you'll have two of the same images. Then you want to right click and insert another video track and this time it's in between the two images. This is where the text is going to be. So now head over to media generators and now make sure you're on legacy text and default text. If you do not see media generators or legacy text, simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. Now after that, add on one of the texts with the checkered background. This means there's going to be no background to that text. So I'm just going to add on the default text here and I'm going to drop it underneath like this. So this is what you're going to be getting. All you need to do is type out your text here. I'm just going to put France because of course this is France and I'm going to press control A and I'm going to make it to 100. And you can come over to properties and choose different text color or add some effects. Completely up to you. I'm not going to add any of that. So just X out of it and I'm going to match it up to the end like this. Now you'll notice we can't even see our text just yet. So if we lower the opacity of the top one, as you can see, the text is just on top or in front of the Eiffel Tower and we're going to make it go behind. So put the opacity back to 100. Make sure you're right at the start of the clip. Come to the event pan and crop. Now from here you want to select mask, then you just want to mask out the Eiffel Tower because of course that is what the text is going to be behind. And just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to go a bit quicker and a bit messy but obviously when you're doing this you will take your time. So as you can tell all you got to do is mask around the outside. And then connect them back up like that. You can already see it's starting to work. We have France, and you'll see by the poor masking, there is a little bit of the background there or the sky. That is because the masking wasn't the best. So, when you do this effect, you do need to make sure your masking is the best. Continue on over here. You want to make sure the feather type is set to in, and this will give it more of a blur type of thing on the uh, outside of the Eiffel Tower. So, um, it'll be five, a bit too much. So you can just play around with it until you find a really good one that you like. And I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to X out of it. And you'll see right there, we can see like it's fainted. And that is because of the uh, feather type here. So we put it up too high. It's so maybe two. There we go. So we can X out of this. And you can position the text using track motion wherever you want it. So I'll just bring it down here so it doesn't lag. As you can see, it's going to be behind it the entire time. So whatever you masked out, that's where the text will be behind. As you can see, even down here, the text is still going to be behind. And that is how simple it is to do. And now even if we come here to the text and make it the font go up to maybe uh, 125, as you'll see, it'll still be behind the uh, Eiffel Tower because we masked that out. And just like that, you're done. Now I've also done a tutorial on this using Photoshop. If you want to check that out, a link to it will be in the description. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.